City Adventure Day. Yay! Okay, so we have arrived. So we are in Caen, um, which is sort of the biggest city near to us. Um, we've got a bit of a plan of where to go and what to see today. We've brought our notebook. Yeah, I remember the notebook. <laughs> which is quite a novelty. So we're just waiting for the rather large queue for the pay machine. Um, and then we're going to put a ticket on and then we'll go and explore. So let's go. Our notepad we know exactly where we're heading we're going to the abbey of om which is an abbey built for william the conqueror in i think it was 1060 so we'll show you around if we can i feel like i've been here before So while we're here, there are actually two abbeys in Con. One of them is Abbey O Om, the other one is Abbey O Dame. They were built by William the Conqueror as a repentant, if that's the right word, for their sins because him and his wife were distant cousins and the Pope didn't agree. So it's a well-known fact that people in France, or so I say um, bureaucracy in France, is quite... Um, paperworky. There's quite a lot of paperwork. <laughs> so everywhere where we've been here in Col are signboards. And just to give you a rough idea, this is just so much paperwork. <laughs> so many notices for absolutely no reason. And I was trying to work out what they were. These are code of conduct. Code your environment. Oh yeah. Applications for people to be married. Andre and Steve and Stephanie. Good for Andre and Stephanie. <laughs> Matthew, start with a U. So much. You are back once more like everything's the same. I tried to build my walls up. But you're taking them down It's tearing me apart I can't pretend Now I have to get over you again You said it was the last time That you keep coming back to show me Sorry you have changed now But it's the same old story I love just went cold So something that is quite fascinating about Caen is that um, obviously during the war it was pretty much flattened so you get this really interesting mix of architecture so there's a lot of old churches and old style I don't know if I can see it building that's behind me here all decorative windows um, right now it's actually a barber shop that building um, but then you get all these sort of modern buildings like you would do in any sort of city and then at the end of the street a really old style church. So it's a really interesting mix of old and new.
You say that something's got to give. You say it's one way to live. Okay, so seeing as we're in such a beautiful yeah, setting by a beautiful church, I think it's probably time for a Jess fact. So this is the church of Saint Pierre, and in 1944, during the war, the whole spire was completely destroyed, but it got rebuilt again in the same style that it was originally built, so it fitted in with the rest of the church. Fascinating facts with Jess. Let's and that's continue. as well, sorry, that's why the, the spire is a different colour, so it looks nice and clean, whereas the rest of it looks a bit grubby. Oh, that's very interesting. <laughs> I didn't actually notice that. <laughs> that's fun. I think we must push through the grey. So one thing I have noticed about Cor, in particular, is um, obviously if this was the UK, there would be tourist booths and you'd be paying like £29.50 to get in. <laughs> here, what they seem to do, I don't know if you can see, sort of down here, underneath the chateau, they build car parks. So there are so many car parks underneath Caen. As you can see, you can see cars down there. Quite fascinating, you can tell I'm British because I'm fascinated by car parks. Watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars Battle the same old wars Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect As you saw on the little pano shot, we're right at the top here, at the tippy top, as I would call it. <laughs> so we're now at uh, Queen Matilda Tower, um, and Jess has found a little information board. So not really a fun fact, but we thought we'd let you guys know anyway. It is a fact. So this is Matilda's Tower, and it was built in 1440, but during the 18th century, it was known as the Devil's Tower because it was a gunpowder dump place. And it was only in the 19th century that it became known as Matilda's Tower. Yeah. So, fun fact. Yeah, I think that's fun. <laughs> so, fantastic little walk by. We thought we'd do just for a bit of effect. And we went round the corner and it's a dead end. So we've got to walk back anyway. But it was a great little shot. <laughs> Guess what we've just found? First one since we've been in France. So we're currently walking down this not very nice back road, trying to find the Abbey au Dam, which was built for Queen Matilda by William the Conqueror. Now, I don't think he liked his wife very much because it's built right on the edge of the city centre. So it's about a 10 minute walk out. We're gonna go and have a look anyway, but these roads aren't very nice. I don't think she's joking. Not the nicest place. At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all this place As you can see, we've just arrived at the Abbey O'Dam. Uh, Abbey O'Dam. Um, and the Abbey O'Om. O'Om. <laughs> which you can see. Um, so that's Abbey of Men, and this is Abbey of Women. Yeah, so this one was built for Queen Matilda, and the other one was built for William the Conqueror. But that one over there 
William the Conquerors, the yeah. man one. Just making a point of that. It's two euros fifty to get in, and this one is free. So oh. it's not only free, but right on the edge of town. Although we did have to walk like two miles uphill to get here, so we probably earned the entrance fee. So um, I'm assuming there's. We don't know if there's a service going on or what. Yeah. Um, it is a Catholic church, so we'll try and have a look. So I've just been into the Abbey and it is a fascinating place. I've never been in an Abbey like it. It's really bright and airy and there's hardly any stained glass windows, which is really unusual. So for those of you that saw last week's video, um, we mentioned the house that was on Limony Snippet. And while Jess was just in the chapel there, in the Abbey, sorry, um, I was doing a bit of Googling and apparently Caen is the most um, bureaucratic town or city outside of Paris. So I showed you earlier all the paperwork that was in the notice boards. So apparently for anything that needs to be done in car, paperwork has to be almost signed in triplicate. So the reference to Limony Snippet there would be like the hospital off of the program where everything had to be signed in triplicate, filed and so on and so forth. So yeah, I just thought that was a bit of an interesting fact. And you can tell what we're currently watching on Netflix. Yeah. Other places are available. <laughs> other Netflix series <laughs> are available and other references to paperwork are also available. <laughs> Okay, so um, we're nearly, we're probably ready to get some lunch to be fair. Yeah. So we're gonna just head up and find a shop to grab some little picnic. Before we do, 
Just as fun fact time. I'm, again, I'm not sure if it's a fun one, but there have been three battles of Con. One of them was in 1346, another one in 1417, though both part of the 100 Years War, and the third one in 1944, part of the Battle of Normandy. So that was quite impressive. I've been running round in circles, chasing my tail, and lost my way, seeking... Right then, after all that walking, we've got our picnic. Let's grab some lunch. ...to stay, somehow ended up here on the ground. Brother, help me... Right, so we've had our lunch, we're all full up. Um, it's getting on now, it's going on for two o'clock when oh, our no, car parking ends, so we're probably going to head out of town now before it starts getting busy with a bit of rush hour traffic. Um, so that's probably where we're going to end our vlog here this week. Um, so as usual, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really, really does help. Give us a thumbs up and ring the little bell to notify you when our next video comes out. And we'll see you all next week. Bye. Bye. I don't know how I could be so dumb.